Guess who got new lights? It's me! Ooh! Ah! Mmm! Unfortunately, this makes my bedroom look like just a porn scene because there's like a camera and lights right in front of my bed. So Happy New Year's, you guys! Today marks the day of my YouTube anniversary! Ha ha! So a year ago today was the first day that I ever posted a video. So in honor of my YouTube anniversary, I wanted to make this video to kind of explain why I started making videos on YouTube and to put to use my new lights. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how far to back up because it's kind of a long story. See, like I love videos. I love video editing. I really wanted to go to this art school so I could study film and I felt like that was where I was supposed to be but then I felt like I wasn't, I wasn't gonna make any money in a creative field, so I went to this school instead. But like, since I was going to a liberal arts school, not film school, I just kinda like pushed film out of my head. And I hadn't made videos until like my very last semester of college. So part of the reason why I didn't enjoy college was because I just felt like it wasn't the right place for me where I was. And also because, as you guys know, I was homeschooled. Just the way I was homeschooled, I didn't get to socialize very much with people in general, but also like people my age. I felt, and I still feel like really inadequate uh, with my peer groups. I don't feel adequate talking to people. Like I feel like I can't relate to anybody. And I just feel like I can't talk to people. I've gotten a lot better, but like at the start of college, it was really, 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 really bad like I was so shy because I didn't really have friends in high school besides Lindsay I was like so desperate for friends and I was so desperate to make people like me and I was so desperate to like push past my fear if I know I'm afraid of something my instinct is to like push myself to face it directly and in a very intense manner so my desperation to have friends and also to I guess not be afraid anymore, it, like, it followed me all through college and, like, senior year was one of the hardest years of, like, of my life. Which sounds really dumb because I know it's just college, but I had just had a really toxic friendship the previous year. Um, I was always trying to, like, be a counselor to people and I was kind of drawn to toxic people because I felt like I could save them. I wanted codependence with someone, basically. I wanted people to rely on me. I was at a really, just really low point, and it felt to me like good people couldn't make it in the world, if that makes sense. I felt like just moral myopia. I felt like if you had morals, it was going to hold you back, which was like so, so dramatic. It was such an overly dramatic reaction kind of to this toxic friendship. But coming out of that one toxic friendship in particular, I was just like, morals should not exist if I want to survive in this world. So I'm gonna learn to be charming and manipulative if I want to get anywhere. And this is so dumb. This is so dumb and stupid. I was just like, well, I am terrified of crowds. I'm terrified of raising my voice because I don't want to like sound like I'm shouting and I am intimidated by everybody and I want to learn how to be charismatic. So I'll join the cheer team. I, I want to do another video about like uh, why I joined cheer team in particular where I can articulate it a bit better and also just like how <laughs> stupid I was. Cause it's really a funny story. It wasn't funny at the time. At the time, like, I knew that I was really unhelpful to the team and basically useless to the team. And on top of that, I wasn't even charming. I wasn't pleasant to be around. And so it felt like people disliked me. And so I acted like everyone disliked me. So I disliked them and it just became this really ugly, vicious cycle. It was just, ah. I also, like, I was in this one scholarship program where you did service work in the community, like volunteer hours. I think it was like a thousand plus hours is how many hours of volunteer work that you would do throughout your college career. And I was at 900. I had been in this program all three years of college and then senior year I was just like, what is the point of doing good things if people like this one friend I had are going to be the people who are like going to make it on top in the world? I was just in like such a really dark mental state. I was just like, fuck altruism and I'll be a cheerleader. 
So I quit this scholarship program where I had known plenty of people and was kind of integrated because I've been there three years and I was just like, okay, done with that. And I tried to start relationships in this whole new group. But again, like I was saying, like this vicious cycle of like, I felt like nobody liked me on the team and then no one really did like me on the team and I felt like so alone. And like being so desperate to have friends still, like it drew people away even more. And I just like, my anxiety was at its all time peak. I was just like, I hate life. I was just so terrified of being a social pariah and I was like, okay, I'm scared. I need to do something about it. I messaged the cheer captain or one of the cheer captains, or there were a few, and I said, hey, can we like get lunch? I wanna to talk to you about something. And so over lunch, I just kind of asked her for advice. I was just like, it feels like I can't make friends anywhere. And I don't know why. And she said, well, Beth, you haven't really put yourself out there. And you're really funny when you talk, but you like never talk. And I was like, ow, oh, okay. But at the same time, like, I'm, I'm not charming in person, even when I'm like, not as anxious and desperate as I was then. So I was like, how can I put myself out there without leaving my room? YouTube. So I started posting videos just to practice talking um, so that when I did talk to people on the team or just people in general out and about, then I would like not have all of these nervous tics because I would practice in front of a camera, which it's not a person, but even now, my nephew's crying. Even now, I still get nervous talking in front of it. Like for this video, like I had to work myself up for like half an hour just talking to the camera because like my sister and brother-in-law can hear me and I like, it makes me so anxious. <laughs> but I have gotten a lot better. And I actually had an outlet for film, which I love doing and I miss and I just like completely forgot about it when I was just like, okay, can't pay for film school. Um, and I really wasn't expecting anyone to watch them. I know I like said I was trying to practice talking um, so that other people could like... What was I saying? <laughs> I wanted to face my fear of people, but at the same time I didn't feel like anyone was actually going to watch the videos. They were just like for me to say, okay yes, people might watch these and that scares me. So I have to post it to face my fear. And then people started watching the videos. <laughs> With my Dentures video, I didn't think anything of it when I posted that one. Um, I'd had Dentures since I was eight years old. I adjusted pretty fast. So I was just like, yeah, it's my teeth. I guess this is just the way it's gonna be. And so it was never like a thing for me. I was never embarrassed of it. Like even people at school, I would just tell in passing like, oh, I have Dentures, isn't this cool? And it's, it's ironic that like, the denture video, like my dentures, was the one thing that I was never ill-confident about. But like everything else with people made me really ill-confident, but the denture thing is what got people's attention. And then after the denture video, when people started watching my other videos, then there was like that desperation again. I was like, oh, people, people actually like me. And so for a while, like on my YouNows, if you watch them, they're so cringy. They're like, if you think my videos are cringy, you should watch my YouNows. I need to do more YouNows just so I can bury those old ones. Cause I'm like so fake on them. Cause I was just like, okay, people are watching. I gotta make people like me. And it was more about that and YouTube using these things to like get people to like me rather than me to work on myself like I, I originally used them to. And it was gross. But I'm at a point now where I'm using this kind of just for myself again. And if you guys enjoy watching me, that's cool. That's great. I'll try to reply to your comments mostly on social media because I don't usually do the comments on YouTube. Sorry. But it was really great having that outlet again for film. I feel like I got so much better mentally after posting videos just because like I could see myself and I was like, oh, that's what's wrong with me. Just like even videos where I'm talking about something that I did with my sister where she like uh, stole one of my toys. I would like just look at the way I was telling it and I'd be like, why do I care so much what people think of me? Like it shows in all these little nervous tics I have where I'm just like, God, I hope people like me. And just me watching those videos, I'm just like, I'm funny. I think I'm fun. So why should I care if people like me or not? So yeah, I'm continuing to use YouTube to be more genuine.
because I don't I don't want to care so much what people think of me if it means that like I can't be true to myself and like pretend to be super happy all the time or pretend to be a certain way. I also want my kids to like see these videos and see me as a young person because like even if me now I can look at these videos and think oh wow I can see how nervous she is. I want my kids to be able to look back on these videos and kind of see me progress from like this very young, nervous, insecure girl to someone who like legit likes herself and is fine with who she is. Cause I feel like I'm not there yet, still working on it. So expect more videos. And it, I do appreciate you guys watching these videos just because I like to make people laugh and hearing you guys say like, I think you're really funny. Like that just makes me so happy, which I think I'm funny too but it is nice to hear other people say it, so thank you. And if my videos can help you guys too, that is an added bonus to me. I say I'm using this channel to like care less about what others think, but if you guys do get something out of this channel, besides just Beth doesn't care about the world, I hope that you get that you don't have to care about the world either, at least not in reference to yourself. I hope that you guys think that your opinion is more important than other people's when it comes to you. If you like you, that's all that matters. And that's all I've got to say for this YouTube anniversary video. Um, yeah. Jeez. I hope to have a new video up this coming week. Hopefully the one with my sister. I've been having a hard time getting together with her just because like we're both adults now with adulty lives and I don't know why I keep doing this. But thank you guys so much for bearing with me on everything. And thank you so much for watching these and for laughing. I love your laughs. So I guess until the next video, then I will see you. Much love.